The lesson for today will be looking at QMI 1500. The topic we are still busy with functions. This is the second lesson of examination preparation. Let us start. Our questions for today, one of the questions that we have is question 9 from one of the previous question papers. Question 9 says solve the following equations. We have this set of equations which is x plus 2y is equal to 10 and 2x plus y is equal to 14. That is the set of equations that we have. Now we have to choose the correct option for the solutions for this set of linear equations. Now this type of question is what we call um, solving systems simultaneously. So we have two equations we must solve for these unknown variables, which is x and y. So the first thing that we have to do now is to label our equation. The first one will be equation number one. The second one will be equation number two. And then from here, we have to choose an equation that has at least one variable that its coefficient is equal to one. But looking at the two equations, we can just choose any because we can see that we have variable one here and also I mean coefficient one here and coefficient one here so we can choose any equation and back substitute so in this case let me choose the equation number one and we make this the subject of the formula so it will be x we transpose this to the other side equals to 10 minus 2y and then we label this as equation number three since it's our new equation and then from here we are going to substitute equation actually we are going to substitute x into equation number two so where we see x in equation number two we are going to substitute it by 10 minus um 2y so let us do so so we have two and then this is our x that is where we are going to substitute our uh, 10 minus 2y and you should take note that since we've chosen equation number one to generate equation number three, we cannot go ahead and substitute onto equation number one. We cannot um, substitute to the very same equation. We must substitute to the equation that we didn't choose. Then from here, we rewrite everything, which is plus um, 1y. It's equal to 14. Now, the reason for substituting, we are trying to get rid of the other variable so that we are left with only one variable in equation so you can see that we are only left with y then from here we simply simplify 2 multiplied by 10 we have 20 2 multiplied by this negative 2y it's a negative 4y plus y is equal to 14 now from here we can simply transpose this to the other side then we have negative 4y plus y is equal to 14 minus 20 so from here we are just solving negative 4 plus 1 it's negative 3y it's equal to 14 minus 20 it's negative 6 and then we divide by negative 3 both sides get that our y is equal to positive 2 this is our y now remember that we are solving simultaneously so we need to go back to our equations since we know that y is equal to 2 we can simply substitute this y basically we choose any equation from the three but we can choose this equation number three since you can see that the subject of the formula is x here where we see y in this equation we are going to substitute by um, 2 so we have x is equal to 10 minus 2 where we see y is substitute by 2 then we have x is equal to 10 um, negative 2 multiplied by positive 2 we are going to get negative 4 and then x is simply equals to 6 so our solutions x is equal to 6 y is equal to um, 2 let us look at the possible options. 
so you can see that our option is here which is option four our next question is question six and then we are given this particular expression and then we're looking for the answer to this expression it's actually an equation it's negative 3 over 2 um, bracket x minus 2 over 3 close bracket plus 1 it's equals to x so we are solving for x here then the first thing that we have to do we must get rid of the brackets so we have a number here which we multiply with what is inside here but before we do that let us quickly understand this in order to understand how to multiply fractions 3 1 over 2 multiplied by x over 4 just know that in this case it's numerator multiplied by numerator it's x denominator multiplied by denominator we're going to get 8 suppose we have 2 over 3 multiplied by 4 over 5 in this case 2 multiplied by 4 we have 8 3 multiplied by, by 5 we have 15 so basically this is how we multiply our um, fractions let's say we have 2 over 3 x minus y over uh, 2 in this case it will be um, 2 multiplied by this 2 times so it will be 2x minus y over 3 multiplied by this, we are going to get 6. Then we can further simplify this to get our 2x minus 2y over 6. Then this is more or less the same as 2x over 6 minus 2y over 6. So going back to our question, this is what will happen. We we'll have to multiply this by what is inside. So multiplying this, we are going to get negative 3x minus 2 all over, to multiply by this, we are going to get 6 plus 1 is equals to x. Then from here, we are going to get rid of a fraction. We multiply each and every term by the term causing the fraction or the number causing the fraction. So we multiply by 6 here, we multiply by 6 here, we multiply by 6 here. So this 6 will get rid of this. And then we are left with negative 3x minus 2 uh, plus 6 is equal to 6x. Then from here we can remove this. We have negative 3x uh, positive 6 plus 6 is equal to 6x. Then from here, we can just transpose this to the other side. We have 6 plus 6 is equal to 6x plus uh, 3. So we have 9x and 12 here. Divide by 9 both sides. x is equal to 12 over 9. So to further simplify this, this can be simplified. 12 divided by 9 is the same as 4 divided by 3. Then we can go ahead and try to um, express this in a mixed fraction since we can see that it's in a proper fraction. So uh, four, 3 goes once into 4. It goes once and then the remainder will be 1. Because 4 minus 3, we're going to get 1 and then over 3. So this is the mixed fraction or the correct option for our question. Now let us go ahead and check. It's actually option 4 again. So our next question is this one, which is based on functions also. It says when solving the system of linear equation, we have a is equal to 4b and a minus b is equal to 9. The solution is, and then we have these options. 
Okay, let us quickly rewrite our equations. So in this case, we are still dealing with a simultaneous equation. So we can simply take this, where we see a into equation 2, substituted by 4b. So this is our a, so it will simply be 4b minus b is equal to 9. And then 4 minus, I mean 4b minus b, it's 3b, it's equal to 9. Divide both sides by 3. You're going to get b. 9 divided by 3, it's 3. So our b is 3. Then we can go ahead and substitute this 3 into this equation or this one doesn't matter which, which equation you choose. So a is equals to 4, 3. a is equals to 12. You can go ahead and verify this by substituting onto the second equation. a minus 3 is equals to 9. Then a is equals to transpose 9 plus 3. You are going to get a as 12. So looking at our options, you see option 2 will be our correct option. Well, that's it for today's lesson. This is Pagula SJ. Thank you very much.